my pep talk today is entitled Home Management of COVID-19 Patients. COVID-19 patients are those infected with COVID-19. They may be symptomatic or asymptomatic. For the symptomatic patients, they may be in mild, moderate, severe, and critical stages. Management of COVID-19 patients may be, may be done at home, at a designated quarantine or isolation facility, or at a hospital, depending on the stage and other situations. As a general rule, COVID-19 patients with moderate, severe, and critical diseases should be managed in a hospital. Asymptomatic and mild COVID-19 patients can be managed at home or at a designated quarantine or isolation facility. My pep talk today will focus on the home management of patients who are asymptomatic and with mild COVID-19. Mild COVID-19 patients are those asymptomatic patients presenting with fever, cough, fatigue, anorexia, myalgia, and other nonspecific symptoms such as sore throat, nasal congestions, headache, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting, loss of smell or loss of taste, etc. And without symptoms and signs of pneumonia and hypoxia, which means not enough oxygen. Signs used to signify probable presence of pneumonia and hypoxia include difficulty in breathing, a respiratory rate of more than 30 per minute in an adult, and an oxygen saturation of less than 92% using a pulse oximeter. Once a patient comes into close contact with a patient with possible, with a uh, probable or confirmed COVID-19, meaning within six feet, of an infected person for a total of 15 minutes or more, he or she should self-quarantine, meaning stay home right away for at least 14 days for monitoring of COVID-19 symptom development. If COVID-19 symptom develop, he or she should do a strict self-isolation right away in a room with bathroom facility and with good ventilation. While at home in quarantine or in isolation, he or she will be managed with the best supportive care possible with close monitoring with the assistance of a physician through telemedicine. He or she should be closely monitored for development of symptoms and signs of pneumonia and hypoxia. If this develops, he or she should be admitted to a hospital for further treatment. Home management of COVID-19 patient is essentially family or household health management with the following processes. Identification and segregation of suspected, probable, and confirmed COVID-19 household members. Identification and segregation of asymptomatic and symptomatic COVID-19 household members. Identification and segregation of household members with high risk for severe diseases such as elderly age, and those with chronic medical diseases. Avoidance of cross-infection among household members through segregation and isolation, use of face mask, face shield, and personal protective equipment, physical and social distancing, hygienic practice, the contamination and disinfection, use of properly ventilated rooms, etc. 
extra protection of the household members with high risk for severe COVID-19 disease. Caregiving for sick household members by relatively well members until the former get well and recovered. Close monitoring of sick household members and reporting regularly to a physician through telemedicine. In the medical management of asymptomatic and symptomatic household members, the best supportive care is given through this regimen. One, build and maintain innate or natural immunity against COVID-19, and two, Take medications to control intolerable symptoms as well as the maintenance medications for existing chronic medical diseases, if present. Ask the physician supervising your home care management. The following are specific measures to build and maintain innate or natural immunity against COVID-19. Stopping any kind of task and activity at first symptom of COVID-19. Isolate yourself and go to bed right away. Nutrition. Eat healthy, natural diet. Adequate but moderate in amount, balance, and varied. There is no need for additional vitamins and other supplements. Hydration, drink at least eight glasses of water per day. Exercise, at least one hour a day, distributed over the day, doing walking, stretching, and flexing exercises as able, and when symptoms are subsiding or completely subsided already. Hygienic practice, doing frequent hand, wash, hand washing, and daily bath, stress management, control anxiety with an attitude of acceptance of COVID-19 infection, but coupled it with optimism, meaning positive thinking, hope for the best, but ready to accept the worst. A good strategy for stress management is to formulate an intentional living plan for the next 14 days which is the average duration of quarantine and isolation. Home management of COVID-19 patients include close monitoring of asymptomatic and symptomatic household members and reporting regularly to a physician through telemedicine. There must be close monitoring for and of symptoms and vital signs. There must be a diary of the monitoring to be shown to the physician supervising the home care management through telemedicine. The minimum vital signs that need to be monitored daily at a frequency of once to thrice a day during the entire period of quarantine and isolation include the following. Note your physicians may add more such as blood pressure and pulse rate but the minimum are fever. There is fever if the oral or mouth temperature is 38 degrees centigrade or higher, or if the armpit or forehead temperature is 37.5 degrees or higher. Respiratory rate, which must be less than 30 per minute. Oxygen saturation on the pulse oximeter which must not be less than 92%. Your physician will guide you on the red flags when he or she must be contacted on an emergency basis. He or she will advise you accordingly if a household member needs to be admitted to a hospital or not. As a general guideline, the isolation period or asymptomatic household members with mild COVID-19 disease ranges from 10 to 21 days with additional requirement 
of no fever and with progressive improvement of other symptoms for at least three days toward the end of the stipulated isolation period. The usual quarantine period for asymptomatic household members with no COVID with no COVID tests is 14 days. The usual isolation period for asymptomatic household members with confirmed COVID-19 test is 10 days from the day of the positive test. Now, in the end, a physician will have to determine the end of quarantine and isolation period. Testing for COVID-19 is done only as indicated. The following are some principles and indications on COVID-19 test. Number one, do COVID test if the management will differ according to the test result. Example, if whether positive or negative, the household members will be quarantined or isolated anyway, there is no need for the test. Do the test if there is a need to shorten the period of quarantine or an isolation. For example, if the test result is negative, the period of quarantine and isolation can be shortened. Number two, there is no need to repeat the COVID-19 test after the prescribed quarantine and isolation period has been observed and the household members are asymptomatic already, and for the symptomatic members, they have improved or recovered already with no fever and progressive improvement of other symptoms for at least three days toward the end of the stipulated isolation period. Take away in this uh, pep talk, number one, Asymptomatic and mild COVID-19 patients can be managed at home with the guidance of a physician through telemedicine. Home management of COVID-19 patients is essentially a family or household health management with the following processes. Identification and segregation of suspected, probable, and confirmed COVID-19 household members identification and segregation of asymptomatic and symptomatic COVID-19 household members, identification and segregation of household members with high risk for severe diseases, such as elderly age and those with chronic medical diseases, avoidance of cross-infection among household members, extra protection of the household members with high risk for severe COVID-19 disease. Caregiving for sick household members by relatively well members. And close monitoring of sick household members and reporting regularly to a physician through telemedicine. Another take home, take away message or take away is depending on the situations, the quarantine and isolation period ranges from a minimum of 10 to 14 to 21 days. A physician will determine the end of the quarantine and isolation period. And last takeaway is testing for COVID-19 is done judiciously and only as indicated. This ends my pep talk. Mabuhay.